Hey guys, Tony here. Once again, I'm very busy and I just don't sit around, you know, make videos all day and blah blah blah. So I didn't have time to go make a prediction for the national title game. But before the national title game, I saw a very funny thing that really told me that Alabama was going to go ahead and win this football game last night. Number one, notice that this game was held at the Falcons' new stadium, the national title game. It doesn't show the title game here. Okay, I, I see it here. This game between Alabama and Georgia was held at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. The funny thing is that Super Bowl 53 also is going to be held at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. And the funny thing is that I already predicted the Indianapolis Colts in the year of the comeback to go ahead and defeat Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Again, this is going to be the year of the comeback. The AFC South wins, you know, the first round draft picks, Mariota and Blake Bortles win, but they're still very crappy. And it would be good for the NFL to have Indianapolis make it the next year once again to reveal Nick Saban won his sixth national title game right before Super Bowl 52. This is how I knew Alabama would win. Six equals 52. Angel Matri, interesting enough, there should be a sign that Pittsburgh's going to remain at six Super Bowls after they win the AFC title game against the New England Patriots and Tom Brady and all these crazy uh, soap opera rumors, you know, about Brady. Belichick and the owner having a feud with each other, how Brady's concerned by his ego while Bill Belichick wanted to go keep uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. A scripted trade, by the way, because the 49ers are uh, Tom Brady's childhood team and this Super Bowl winning backup, this young kid, happens to go to the San Francisco 49ers. But next year is the year of the comeback. Comeback equals 53. I made this strong connection right after right before the injuries even happened this video of Super Bowl 53 Mr. Tony Tell like it is made made it in July long 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 before this season even happened so the 2018 national title game held at Mercedes-Benz Stadium the Super Bowl being held at Mercedes-Benz Stadium the Georgia Bulldogs lost the national title game at Atlanta, Georgia. I knew it was going to happen. Funny thing was that it happened in comeback fashion, almost like the Atlanta Falcons from last year's Super Bowl. It's pretty funny, though, that the two biggest sporting events at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, the college national title game in Super Bowl 53, are going to involve a losing team with a G on their helmet, G as in Georgia, predetermined knowledge. It is Demetria, the practice of coding letters and words into numbers, that is a key sign that this code is operated by the people that hold all the knowledge and play the role of God. This is the Freemasons, it is the Zionists, it is the Jesuits. First off, with comeback it going 26, it's funny that Alabama won this scripted game by a score of 26-23. Alabama came back to win this game. Georgia scoring 23 points. That was completely rigged and scripted. And right now, it is the... AFC that has 25 Super Bowl victories. The AFC is going to remain at 25 Super Bowl victories. Next year in the year of the comeback, it is the AFC that is going to win their 26th Super Bowl in the year of Super Bowl 53. It is going to be the comeback of Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers in the NFC already. You know that change is coming to the, to the Packers. Ted Thompson... Ted Thompson is no longer the general manager making the moves. And then we have changes on the defense. The long-time mediocre defense saved by Aaron Rodgers in the Green Bay Packers. 
that Dom Capers was fired by the Green Bay Packers. And we're due for a very special Green Bay Packers season after making some changes. This is all about time for Aaron Rodgers to go ahead and make some noise and play in another Super Bowl for someone as good as him. Remember that luck equals 25, that the AFC is going to have uh, 25 Super Bowl titles right before the year of Super Bowl 53. Andrew Luck is going to win the AFC, their 26th Super Bowl, against a team with a G logo. Once again, the G representing God. God equaling 26, the 26th team to win the AFC. Comeback equaling 26, Alabama with 26 points. The Baltimore Colts, the Indianapolis Colts, I think I've won uh, three Super Bowl titles. They could win, I think the, the team can win its third Super Bowl, or the, it, their third overall title next year. See how many titles the Indianapolis Colts have won. Funny how they were established on the 23rd day of the year. Funny how uh, that's the case because in the in the Jamatronator here, it is these two logos that would end up losing the title games. Georgia for college football, Green Bay for the NFC. It is, I believe, Georgia that equals 23. Or Atlanta, Georgia, the short way equals 23, how the Colts were founded on the, on the 23rd day of the year. This is a very strong connection for the Indianapolis Colts. Go ahead and make it to Super Bowl 53. Nick Saban winning a six title, 652. Indy, 52. In 25, 25 AFC champions. AFC's not winning the Super Bowl this year. This is proof that the AFC is not going to win the Super Bowl. The Mercedes-Benz connection with Georgia, why Georgia is in the national title game, why that's very funny that I see this now after making this correct prediction months and months and months in advance and over a year in advance. Once we see next year play out, once again the storylines, the year of the comeback from injury, Andrew Luck not playing this year, and Aaron Rodgers season over. And funny how Aaron Rodgers, his last playoff loss, was at Atlanta, Georgia. His last playoff loss, Aaron Rodgers, you cannot forget, you absolutely cannot forget, was over at Atlanta, Georgia. This was at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, recall. NFC can have 27 Super Bowls right before next year, right before the Super Bowl being held at the Atlanta Falcons Stadium. This is a very strong connection. Once again, a rigged game by the forces of Demetria and numerology. Jesuit 21, Georgia 44, a rigged game by the numbers. You cannot make this stuff up. This is how this game does it all the time. So once again, Green Bay winning the Super, winning the NFC next year. The Colts winning the Super Bowl. This this is the first clue right here. Definitely is going to involve the Green Bay Packers for next year, the Indianapolis Colts. I'm feeling very strong that Andrew Luck is going is going to be comeback player of the year. I'd just like to see how many comeback player of the years there were for the NFL. Definitely, it's going to be Andrew Luck next year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen in 2011 was 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25 for this year, Andrew Luck. Being the 26th comeback player of the year, 
a very fitting connection for Alabama's 26 po uh, 26 points in the national title game. Comeback equaling 26 and 53. The year of Super Bowl 53. No doubt about it. By the numbers.